Hi everyone, today I'm sharing seven elegant fall outfits, each styled with the perfect Parisian handbag to match. I've got a few new pieces in my capsule wardrobe, so I thought it'd be fun to share those with you today while styling them into the perfect autumn or fall outfits. With the beautiful addition of seven different handbags, from the Parisian brand Palen. Now I have two of their handbags already, but I was really interested to see what their other ones look like in person. So I got in touch with the brand and asked if I could borrow a selection for this video so I could share with you not only what they're like in terms of quality, but how I'd style my outfits around them. So lots of elegant fall outfit ideas today that I think and hope you're going to like. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, it'd be really lovely if you could do so. And don't forget, you can follow my daily style pictures over on Instagram at fashion and style edit. So first up, I chose a new handbag to the Parisian collection, the numero neuf in camel. Apologies for my French, by the way. I am very much a beginner. Now compared with most Palen styles, this one is decidedly relaxed certainly when it comes to the shape and it's available in all those classic tones they do so well so when it came to styling fall outfits to go with this bag i actually found it quite stressful i just wanted to do the bag justice so i eventually decided the best way i could make this bag pop would be if i blended it with a palette of beiges and whites so i've styled it with a pair of wool blend trousers in this light beige tone styled with my mohair blend ecru jumper for a really effortless chic everyday look. I've paired the outfit with a sprinkle of jewelry to catch the eye and my tote flats to keep the outfit dressed down. If you need an extra layer, you could finish with a beige coat to keep that monochromatic effect. I think all those different textures blend together so beautifully and enable that stunning bag to really be the star of the show. And I think it's the perfect finishing touch. Le Cabas is described as the perfect everyday handbag, and I think I would have to agree. It's a tote bag, but then so much more than a tote. Those pinch folds giving it a detail I haven't seen before, the ability to go from landscape to portrait format, which is just so original. The attention to detail is impeccable, and you just know before any styling takes place, this bag is going to polish it. So I decided to style this Parisian handbag with a laid back outfit that was all about texture to try and reflect the softness of that leather, but still making it stand out. So I'm using another color combination I love, deep navy sat against taupe. On my top half, I'm wearing an alpaca and wool blend jumper that's probably my favorite sweater I've bought so far this season. I just love it. Worn with my fairly light wash denim jeans that I got from Marquette, and pretty neutral flats in the same palette as the back. I love this outfit for the simplicity. It feels elegant and effortless and chic without any sign of trying too hard. And I think that's down to that beautiful knit sat against that gorgeous taupe leather. I really love that combination together. Fall outfit idea number three, and I went for the numero un in grey. I have to say the shade is even nicer in person than it looks on their website. I actually have this one in black, so it's really interesting to see it in a different shade and how it gives off a completely different feel. So I decided I really wanted to make this bag stand out even more. So I've paired it with one of my favorite color combinations, pastel pink. There is something so luxurious and elegant about pink and gray tones blended together that I just love. To bring in another shade of grey, I'm wearing my new jeans from And Other Stories and I've added my grey herringbone blazer over the top. On my feet, I wanted to keep the look fairly practical for day wear, so I've added my trusty ankle boots again and just one sprinkle of gold with my bracelet to pick out that tone from the hardware on the bag. Again, if you needed more warmth, I would probably add my beige coat to an outfit like this. And I think black would work too and make a lovely contrast against the grey. So next up, I chose the mini version of the numero wheat. I'd been curious about this bag since I first saw it launch and it's every bit as beautiful as I imagined it would be. I have never seen a handbag collection do something so different but yet hugely effective with the humble bucket bag. Those sculptural folds of leather are stunning and though the bag feels on trend, it manages to look feminine and timeless at the same time. For this autumn or fall outfit, I decided to go more casual 
but with elevated touches. I've just got in two new pretty little dresses from a brand called Spirit and Grace. Firstly, I'm wearing the Talia dress, which has this gorgeous purple and pink leopard print a wrap style and gentle frills over the edges. Now I've gone with black tights and ankle boots to keep the look every day for four. And I just love the contrast of that print sat against such a beautiful bag. I think they work really well together. Then I styled this next dress called the Angelite Mini in a similar way, but added my leather jacket to give it a bit more of a rock chick vibe. I actually really like the toughness of the jacket next to the elegant softness of those folds on the bag. And combined with those florals on the dress, I really think it's a great juxtaposition of styles. A very different shade for me this time, but one that we know is one of the huge fashion trends for this 2020. The deep and luxurious shade of red, or as Pelen beautifully name it, Bordeaux. Now this is the mini version of the numero un, but equally stunning in quality. But instead of the leather strap like the larger one, the smaller one has a gold chain instead. So I'm going to show you two different ways I would style this handbag into outfits, because I think a lot of people might be nervous about this shade, but I wanted to show you that it's probably far more easier to integrate into an outfit than you would think. Now the obvious choice, of course, is with black. Here I've paired it with my needle cord flares and an oversized patterned silk blouse that I've just tucked into the waistband. To elongate me further, I've added my pointed toe mid heels and I think the combination together makes that deep, luscious Bordeaux shade stand out beautifully. I think a palette of greys would work really well sat against this bag, and actually I think camel would work really nicely too. But next I've actually styled it with something very similar in shade, and yet there's still enough contrast to the styles to really make the bag pop. I actually bought this set while I was craving new loungewear. It's made from organic cotton, and not only do I love the feel of it against my skin, but the shape is just ridiculously comfy. So you'd assume loungewear would be really dressed down, and of course, adding trainers, it is pretty laid back. But I think when you add a beautiful structured handbag to an outfit like this, it immediately elevates the whole look and gives you far more options and uses from all of your loungewear. A little French woman style with this next autumn or fall outfit, paying homage to the brand's origins. When you break it down, my outfit is really pretty simple. I'm wearing a Jane Birkin print t-shirt with my deep indigo skinny jeans. The nice elements that really lift the outfit for me are the addition of my black wool blazer, the heels and the bag. Just those three pieces transform this outfit from something pretty basic to something I think is effortlessly chic. Something we all know French women do very well. Now I've had this bag for a little while, so do take a bit of a dive into my older videos at the end of this one to see the many different ways I would integrate it into my outfits. But the reality is it pretty much goes with everything, a real classic. Another Pelen Paris handbag that I already had is the Numero Set. The structured crossbody bag that's definitely had its wear in my wardrobe so far. Now I think I've featured lots of dressed up looks with this handbag, so I wanted to share with you how I would dress it down. Or as it happens, once I got styling, a super laid back outfit. But that's the joy of a beautiful handbag. It really will elevate whatever you put it with. So here I'm wearing a camel cashmere crew neck, just to give a nod to the tone of the handbag, and I've paired it with my distressed jeans that I got from Everlane. Not for everyone, I'm sure, but I can't deny that I wear these a lot on my chill days. On my feet, I wanted to keep it light and casual, so I opted for my beige trainers, and depending on the weather, you could layer a contrasting scarf over the top. I think this particular one sold out, but I'll see if I can find anything similar. And that's it, seven elegant autumn or fall outfit ideas styled with one of my favorite handbag collections, Pelen Paris. I'd really love to hear from you in the comment section below. Do let me know your favorite outfit I put together today. And it'd be really interesting to hear which is your favorite bag from their new collection. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back in a couple of days with more outfit ideas and inspiration. So hopefully you will join me then. Take care.